action. First, Karen, you've been following the Convoy story. What about that bidding this morning? Jeff, it was absolutely incredible. Convoy has smashed its own fundraising record before a single wheel has turned. Tonight in the final instalment of our series, we're ringside as the bidding for lead truck begins. <laughs> The day has finally arrived for the all-important lead truck auction. Marty, Bianca and Anne Tanks are inside the studio now and the region's truckies are preparing to battle it out for pole position. By midday, we'll know just who will lead the convoy down the mountain this Sunday and how much our generous drivers have helped boost the coffers at Camp Quality. Thousands of dollars has already been tallied since bidding began on Monday when Godlevsky Transport of Nara pledged top bid. A flurry of donations Tuesday ended with the $2,400 pledge from Titan Training Group. Park Fuel Enhanced Petrol led the fray Wednesday and Child Transport yesterday. This morning it was Craig Duren at MJ Rolls with a donation of $9,200. But when bidding continued around midday and the pledges hit six figures, it floored everyone. Mate, I suppose we might as well make a big magic number and we'll make a 100 and eat out of it. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> you are kidding me, Craig the After a last minute tussle with Park Petroleum, Craig Duren topped the bidding at $110,000. There you go, MJ Rolls with Keeley in the front truck will lead this year's 2012 R98 Camp Quality Convoy and Illawarra on Sunday. We've got ourselves a convoy. And how the bidding alone has netted camp quality over seven hundred thousand dollars. I can't describe it, Karen. It's just it just means so much to us to be able to do what we want to do for the children, to reach out to more families. Down at the MJ Rolls Yard and Ever Humble Craig Duran attributed the record donation to community support. Now we had guys, our workers coming this morning wanting to pledge a thousand dollars and these sort of things and, and so did a lot of the other companies and you can tell by some of the lists the guys were reading out how many people are behind this project in this whole town and it's just phenomenal how it's taken off and bring it on. The huge lead truck donations from Alan Ross, People's Truck, MJ Rolls and Park Petroleum will make up a significant chunk of the funds handed over to Camp Quality this year, but organisers say it's the generosity of the region's smaller operators that helps pad out the final tally. Rodney Tannis is one of those donors who's contributed for six years. For the last few, he's had little Lewis Sergeant Wilson, who was recently declared cancer-free, on board. Rod says just being part of the convoy is a thrill for the kids. Uh, he's, pretty, he's pretty good, he's pretty good. Yeah, except when he gets on them radios. <laughs> While the trucks and riders are ready to roar, organisers are still facing a last-minute logistical issue with more volunteers required to help park the trucks on Sunday. A volunteers meeting will be held at Croom Road at 2 o'clock tomorrow. Now, with the auction done and dusted and lead truck locked away, the countdown is on to Sunday when 10 months of planning will bear fruit and more than 1,500 vehicles will make their way from Westcliff Colliery down the mountain to the coast. If you've never been part of it, sit roadside this year and experience what's made the I-98 FM Camp Quality Convoy not only Australia's largest truck convoy, but an event that's changing lives.